good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm glad to welcome you on Savalmash channel. As always, this is Alexander Sudarev. And today we'll try to show you visually what the builders are doing in the Savalmash Design and Technological Bureau. Now we are in the first location. This room is located to the left of the main entrance to the administrative and utility building, and it is called the control room. Now you can already see the automation cabinets, they are installed. Just the other day, work began here to connect the automated fire extinguishing system. We can also see quite a large number of wires, which now come in here. And our specialists will soon begin to lay them, just the way it is conceived in the project documentation. It is very loud here now. There is a lot of work going on at once, so I hope that you can hear me all right and it will be comfortable for you to watch this video. Let's move on. Here we get to the Deputy Chief Engineer's office straight away. We can see that the office is taking its shape, people are settling in it. The workplace is set up, there are cabinets, documents, archives here, and it means that the building begins to live its life, and we are getting closer to the realization of goals and tasks which we planned earlier. Let's move on. Here we can see that a large number of enclosing structures have already been completed. And the only thing left to do is to glue on the shading film. We can also observe how the installation of wall decorative panels is being carried out right before your eyes. Well, let's not disturb the guys, let's move on. Here the employees occupy the offices as well. So far we are talking about temporary placement of some employees, because for example, the office of the chief engineer, it is already fixed by the project, let's say, and the person will sit there on a permanent basis. And this is a temporary placement. And in the future, the specialists will be moved up to their legitimate places. But still, the temporary placement has already been realized. The premises are warm, bright and beautiful enough, in my opinion. Here, in parallel with putting furniture here, the work on connection of fan course is going on. We will observe this activity throughout today's video, probably in quite a big number of places, because now this work is one of the most active ones. We can see the walls painted here. We can see the hidden doors. Well, let's not distract anyone. There is also workplace being formed here, the installation of bathrooms is being carried out. Soon they will get to the finishing stage. Now they're starting sewage systems, pipes, installations and so on. The finished look of the wall panels. This is what you see, the installation process continues right before your eyes. Just yesterday, the lift specialist came. The door was put up to the necessary required level. And now it will allow us to finish the work on finishing by installing wall panels and small sections of tiles. Including our local heating station, which feeds the administrative and utility building. You see that now it's in quite a shabby state. Why? Because work has just been done here to install ventilation systems. This work is also being done throughout the building. Now there will be a cleanup here after this work. At the same time, it should be noted that specialists of both Sovelmash, the general contractor and subcontractors, are constantly engaged in cleaning the territory. But nevertheless, a large amount of construction materials that come to us, a large amount of work, Dmitry Alexandrovich, would you please come over to Alexander Alexandrovich's office, take a picture of the pressure regulators. Data were said they need to be purchased, because they took them off. 
They gave us the wrong one. Okay, I understand. We'll do it now. We'll fulfill the tasks which are set in parallel. Let's finish the work here. Installation of the ventilation system. Not even installation, but rather insulation of heat mains. You can see that quite a large number of pipes have been brought. Other structures for the installation of the ventilation system. There is also installation of the autonomous fire extinguishing system. Now, let's make a little pause, we'll come back to you very soon. again. Let's continue our video. Here you can see that the plumbing equipment has been brought in. Therefore, as we have said before, our bathrooms, I really hope, well, they will be approved for use in the near future. This is a very important thing when creating a good atmosphere in the workplace. Let me repeat that we are, as always, yes, let's go past it. Do not film secret things, please. Production line. Our production line has now been completely cleaned during general cleaning. Well, mini general cleaning, let's say, which was realized by so much employees, for which the entire team who participated is thanked a lot. I think that these procedures will be realized quite often due to the fact that construction works are associated with the formation of a quite a big amount of dust. And one of the most important tasks today is dust removal at the site. That is what we are doing. Let's move on. It will be very noisy now. I continue to hope that our sound will be preserved and you will hear something. Again, here you can already observe the cable channels, which are installed, bus ducts, and this indicates that, well, the designer is passing by us. It means that formation, the final connection of electricity is very close. Careful, please. Step back or you'll be lifted on a pitchfork now. You know, when you go out into the shop, you just go wild and you think, well, what can I tell you? First of all, notice quite large amount of specialized equipment. Previously, we purchased our forklift, which is now used very much. It helps a lot in the building. The floor scrubber is now a larger capacity machine with the possibility for the operator to enjoy driving around the workshop. The installation of all the attachments is also ongoing. Let's get a closer look at where the guys are working now. The floor in the areas where the automated cleaning is taking place is beginning to shine. The protective varnish will wear off more over time and the coating will become uniform. Just now there were sparks flying here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. Please note, in the floor of the second floor, cameraman, please come here, go away from there. So there now, channels are cut for installation of ventilation systems. Let's move away from here, because, well, some components may fall on our heads, and we don't want that right now. Look. There is a shaft above us, where the ventilation equipment will be located. Shoot it, please, Istiana Teplova. 
who is now being filmed. An employee of the laboratory. Let's move on. There is active work going on in the panel rooms. Pay attention to that. Look at where the cable channels look now. The necessary connections are formed. And it should be noted that this is not the first video we are shooting here in these rooms. And quite often it looks pretty much like that. Why? Because if you look closely, you will see that there are more wires. There are more and more connections. The electrical part of the building is very large. Everything is provided for, for the organization of our line of business. So this is huge scope of work. Let's move on from there. This part of the building is a little quieter now. Right at this moment, the guys are continuing with the installation. And here we can also see that the cleaning has been done. The rooms are being cleaned, prepared to accept additional equipment. We see the lights mounted. We see active finishing works. Let's take a break here and move to the mezzanine which is located above the loading ramp. You see that the guys are now preparing for the installation of the fire alarm system. So that we will sleep or work in peace. Knowing that if anything, we will not miss anything. We have moved to the ramp group. There is the airlock here. And we see the formation of another bathroom. Tile has been laid. We will be doing the drainage, communications, and installation of everything needed in this room. Let's move on. Another room with a finished appearance. Well, almost finished appearance. The heating system is being installed. And of course the finishing. And here we see the already installed video surveillance cameras. Hot water system, fire extinguishing system, they are not being filmed now, but they are here. And of course, the walls. The walls are also taking their final form. We can see that they are painted, corners are put. It should be improved in some places. Jail cleaning should be done and it will be very good then. The radiator is very hot. This one's working properly. Well, let's turn it up a bit here. Because it's too much. As you can see, the walls of the staircase are already finished. It just remains to do a general cleaning and keep them in the form in which they are now. Because construction work, transportation of goods, they naturally make their own adjustments to the state of these elements, but nevertheless, we try to control these processes so that everything may remain in pristine condition. And now we have moved to the place where we have not been for quite a long time. This is the second floor mezzanine above the ramp group. We can see the partially installed tiles. These rooms are still waiting for their golden hour and are ready to receive the final flooring. The walls of the staircase are ready for painting. We have already installed plasterboard constructions here, enclosing ventilation ducts and other technical rooms. And we can also see that the heating pipes are also being installed here. Most of them have already been installed on the first and second floors. And the flooring is completed in the administrative and utility building. Of course, it's better not to jump there. 
It's very high. But it is warm enough in that room. There is an individual heating station and a ventilation duct. And there is also an exit to the roof. So work in this area continues. A view from above, so to speak. Be careful, the pipes don't fall down. Careful, there is fire break, don't fall. I hope I can still be heard. Please note, the cable ducts are getting more and more numerous. The ducts are already appearing in the workshops. Of course, there is a lot of work to be done on the third floor, and we should not forget about it. But it should be noted that the main work on installation of walls has been completed, windows as well. Distribution for installation of heating radiators. It's completed. Radiators in most rooms are already mounted. Electrical inputs of fire alarm systems are mounted as well. So this is the scope of work we can cope with. And I'm sure that we will fulfill all of that and cope with the task. The floor is also ready for the installation of the finishing. Of course, we'll have to eliminate certain things, but when you're engaged in construction projects, especially of that size, there are always some nuances that do not affect the final result. But nevertheless, work with them will still need to be done. Here we see again the laying of cables. We see that the ventilation equipment is being installed, enclosing structures, are temporarily dismantled. Why? In order to install the pipe supply systems and ventilation cabinets. Here are the pipes. There, on the other side, the ventilation shafts have already been installed. And they are rather solid, as we have noticed already. You can judge for yourself how solid the structures are. There is no need for comment. Well, and let's remember the words of some of our viewers. They were saying that ceilings are too high, like why do you need them? Here is the answer. And in conclusion of today's video, which turned out to be quite voluminous, and I hope that you are not tired of watching it, well, I would like to note that the deadline for the delivery of the facility to the State Commission is approaching, and now it is really necessary to seriously accelerate the pace of construction and commissioning work. By the way, we did not mention lazy equipment, as well as machine tools, machining centers, foundry machines. All this equipment is now appearing here, it is getting into its rightful place, there is less and less space. And now here, temporary warehouses are formed. They are not actually warehouses. It's temporary storage of the materials with which the work is being done now. Storage is already quite difficult here. At the same time, in parallel with all that we have seen, the commissioning of machines is underway. Two of them have already been started, and there is not much left to put it all into operation. And you can assess the volumes, pace, the scale, you can do it yourself. I don't think that my comments are needed here. In any case, there is a lot of work to be done. I think that we will cope with all of it. But in order to make it all happen even faster, each of you can influence that. How? I think you know for yourselves. Thank you for your trust, your support, your interest in the whole project and in this video in particular. So please leave your comments. Let's be in touch. Thank you very much and see you soon.